So I got really lucky. Um, these are called Dexter Easy Lube. And uh, I found a video on them and they're designed. They have a grease cert right here. And you just uh, put your thing on there. You can take it, just take this thing off, but I just found it was easier to remove the, the wheel because this one is kind of recessed in here and you gotta take this rubber thing off to do it that way. Um, if you have a, if your hub covers, you know, on the outside of your wheel and you can take it off, then you could do that. But it was just easier to take the wheel off for this one. Um, and then you just get this off. So pretty much all you'll need is a pair of channel locks, grease gun, hammer, and a screwdriver. Um, if this doesn't come off easy, you'll need to use the screwdriver to, to get it off. But usually it comes off like that. All right. And so the trick to this, and it's really difficult. You can see, hopefully you can. You get your grease gun. It takes about about a three quarters of a tube per wheel um, to do it right. So you just get that on there, and you start spinning the wheel, and then just pump. Hmm, maybe out of grease. Of course, I wait till the last tire to do this. you can see this now and then it starts squeezing what it does is it starts squeezing that old grease out of there so you just want to go until you can start seeing your new red grease starting to come out so it could take half a bottle or it could take um, a whole tube but once it starts coming out then you're good and you just scrape the excess off this is why I like doing it without the wheel on so it's a lot easier see now I'm starting to see some new red if you can see it down in here it's real black here and then red right there so just keep going there we go nice and red right here coming out now and that's all you gotta do clean it off put your covers back on put your wheel back on But that's why it takes a whole roll of towels for this was a new roll when I started the, the other three tires then you don't have to take any of the cotter pins or nothing off and you got nice new grease in there clean this off a little bit so you don't get any dust in there and there you go that was easy well, I wouldn't say easy, but lots easier than taking everything off and trying to get a packer and everything else. Love new inventions. Nice new grease came out, and it, it's designed that way to pack them. So um, the company's video is really cool. I guess this cert goes all the way to the back bearings, and then it hits the wall back there and starts pushing that new grease out, So it, uh, or the old grease out. So if you watch that video, it's kind of a neat little invention, but this little zert here goes all the way back to the back and then it pushes that. That's why it takes a while for it to start coming out when you put that grease in there um, for the new grease to come because it's got to go back in there back and then push all that old stuff out for, toward the front. And uh, so pretty good design. Well, that's done. And uh, if you got this kind, uh, it shouldn't, really shouldn't hurt to do it every year, it says. So, uh, might be something to do and since it's not that hard it wouldn't be be a maintenance job to do every year as always we thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching